Alpha male strategies, baby. All right, guys. So I may I want to make this video because I touched on it a little bit in the last video. So I wanted to break down the different levels of female interest, guys. All right. So I touched touched on it last video. So I wanted to make a whole video breaking it down, what to look for, where you stand, so you guys you know know what to look for and stuff. You know, I've been doing this a while. It just amazed me how. I be doing this sometimes and like how I haven't made this video yet. Uh, you would have thought I would have been made this video, but it just came up yesterday and I'm like, shit, let me make a video on this. So, all right, guys, so this is the different levels of interest in females. All right, I'm going to go from the lowest to the highest as far as you in there, all right? If a woman sees you as a four, three, two, or one, your ass ain't need much in there. So, I obviously ain't going to go through that. That's irrelevant. All right, you got to be at least a five for your ass to get any fucking well. So I'm going to start from there. It don't matter about nothing else. All right. <clears throat> so first of all, at five, guys, this is what it takes to at least get the female number. Knows I ain't said date. All right. Because you don't get no date yet. If a woman sees you as a five, that means that you have to raise it to even get to the date. All right. This is when you are five. What you say on the phone and how fast you call is going to dictate whether you even get the date. Because you got to raise her interest. Unless she's a woman without a lot of options, all right? If, you, if she perceives you as a five and she's a five, then, all right, she ain't get, probably got too many fucking options. But if she sees you as a five, and let's hypothetically say, just for the sake of saying, she's at least an eight, she has a lot of options, all right, you got some ways to go. To raise it because she's gonna have a lot of options all right if she's a five or a six the bitch just happy to get a phone number somebody to get a phone number all right we just being honest right but if she's an eight nine or ten she's gonna have a lot of options you're gonna have to raise it all right so when you talking on the phone you're gonna have to really be seducing her talking good and stuff like this you don't gotta talk long it's about how you say it, not what you say. I've told you guys about masculine frame, voice pitch, and all this and other type of shit, all right? Also, don't be calling her the next day in two days and shit like this right here. <clears throat> you want to call her at least, bare minimum, I'm thinking at least three, four days later, all right? At least three, four days later, all right? Me, y'all guys know I do the week, but hey, that's me. But at least three, four days later, all right? You don't want the woman thinking you needy and desperate and shit like this right here, Okay? So at least three to four days later, all right? So you have to raise it. This is when you'll see, when a woman talking about something will see, and I'll let you know she sees you as a five, all right? That means that unless don't nothing come up, nothing, all right? Not just the dude, guys. If my girlfriends want to go have a drink, if my coworkers want to go have a drink, if my dog goddamn gets sick, if my fish gets sick, if I just don't fucking feel like it that day, we ain't going no fucking well. All right, guys? That's what a five is, all right? And that's okay. It's whatever, all right? Everybody got... Look, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, all right? Some women going to see me as a 10. Some women going to see me as a 2. It is what it is, all right, guys? So you might have a hard time getting a date. Let's say you get the date. You probably have a high flake rate. All right? When you see a woman flake on you and shit like this, that's because she has very low interest in you. If you got the number, that means you was at least a five. All right? <clears throat> at least a five. Now, women would give guys their number sometime to get out of their face and shit like this because they don't want to reject them in their face. But these women won't set a date with you or nothing like that. And matter of fact, you, won't, you can't even have a conversation with them. These are the women that, when women give you their number to get you out of their face, when you call them, it's going to end, you know, oh, I'll call you back. I'm busy right now. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm at work. I'll call you back. They ain't going to even talk to you on the phone, all right? That's how you know when a woman just gave you her number to get out of face, out her face. She'll tell you she's going to call you back, and she won't never call you back. If a woman is engaged and talking to you on the phone, and she didn't end the conversation, all right, that means that she saw you as a legitimate five, and it's up to you to raise it, all right? It is what it is, guys, but you... You have to understand that you have a very high flick rate, uh, flake rate. If, you tell, if a woman ever tell you, we'll see, or I'll let you know, and then you you know, you know stand up to her and like, you try to withdraw the offer, and then she said, okay, all right, all right, all right, Saturday, Saturday is. Please understand that you probably need to set another date just in case, all right? 
on just in case you probably need to set another date so if you set a date with a girl who said we'll see i'll let you know for saturday you probably need to have a backup plan i'm just letting you know guys all right and if you do get on a date with her if you do get on a date with her she won't shit test you that much all right you guys got to understand that shit test comes for when a woman starts to want to sleep with you all right a woman has to want to sleep with you to shit test you all right a woman just don't shit test to shit test shit test is I want to fuck this motherfucker. I need to make sure that he is up to my standards, that he's a true high-value male, all right, that he has other options, that he's pre-selected. That's when the shit test come in, all right? I'm not saying she ain't going to shit test you, but she ain't going to just, you know, throw him on you like that because you ain't even a sexual object right now. She might show up later, some shit like that right there, and that could either be, you know, lack of interest or a shit test. Either way, you want to, you know, look at it. But she is going to shit test. Women are going to always shit test. But she ain't going to just throw them at you like that because she has low interest in you. And so there's no need to shit test you like that. All right? Of course, if you start, you know, failing the little shit test she do give you, then, of course, she's going to go and disqualify your ass and probably shit test you more. Or she might just start having fun with your ass and start making you dance and shit if she see you can't pass no shit test. Of course, we all know that. But all things equal, she ain't gonna shit test you that much because you and when you're on a date, she ain't gonna say that much. All right, so to, to shit test you, that woman got to be engaged in the conversation. All right, if a woman sees you as a five, your nose on the date, she's not gonna say a whole lot. If you get on a date, she's not gonna say a whole lot. She ain't gonna make a whole lot of eye contact and shit like that right there because she has very low interest. You might from time to time, and you know the checker on her phone or whatever the case may be, she only out with you probably because she had nothing else better to do. All right, so that's the thing with the five. But guys, as you guys know, if you've been watching Alpha Male Scratches, you know how to raise it. All right, and this goes to my point of what I was talking about, a direct approach. You think you could have had a direct approach with a woman like this? All right, but it's very likely that if you do everything right and you do pass the little shit that she do give you, that you will fuck about a third or fourth date, guys. All right, so that's the thing with that. All right, all right no. <clears throat> if a woman sees you as a six, now, here's the thing. You'll get the date a little bit more easier, a little bit more easier. It just depends on the woman's options, all right? If you're dealing with a 10 and she got fucking 30 guys that's trying to take her out, you know, all that's just relegated to how hot the girl is, all right? If the girl got a shitload of options and she sees you as a six, then, you know, you still might get flaked on a lot. But if a woman, if she, if you are, if she sees you as a six, but she's only a seven or eight, well, she ain't going to have that crazy amount of options, all right? So it all just depends on what the woman options is as into what, if you get flaked on or not, guys. It really ain't got too much to do with you. It just depends on how hot the girl is. If the girl's hot, she's a drop-dead 10, where most guys will say she a 10. Unless you like a 9 or a 10 to her, you probably going to get flaked on. It's just the bottom fucking line, guys. Ain't nothing can be done about that, all right? All right, so... And she won't shit test you that much either, guys. All right? The shit test comes as you start to get closer. As you raise her interest, the woman will start to shit test you more because now she's starting to see you as a sexual object. All right? When a woman sees you as a five or six, she will shit test you. All right? Don't never, don't never think I ain't say, every woman going to shit test you. I don't give a fuck if she sees you as a two. All right? She's going to shit test you. But the thing is... They get more harder and she bring them on more as you get closer to the range of what she want to fuck. All right. That's the thing with that. Now, as with all shit test guys, you can shut it down by simply passing them. That's it. All right. When a woman sees you not nothing to fuck around with and you holding a masculine frame, you kill them fucking shit tests. All right. A woman know you ain't nothing to fuck with. So as with any shit test, you can kill it by just standing up for yourself and holding a masculine frame. In my lifetime, guys, where I've seen a lot of the shit tests come in is when I was kind of like a little goofy, a little corny, a little playful. And usually I get like that when I'm drinking. All right. So that's why I've learned on dates to limit my drinks to two. Because if I start drinking too much, I start getting a little too loose, a little talkative, a little too goofy. And then I start nosing the shit test just come on instantly. Boom. All of a sudden. Because I'm acting weak. It's amazing. Soon as I start talking too much and acting too friendly, woo, all these fucking shit tests just start coming on hard. All right, guys? So that's the thing with that. Now, understand that if you're a five or a six, the woman ain't going to come back to your place. All right? 
coming back to your place means that sex can happen if you do everything right. You still ask. You always ask. You're trying to let her know you're an alpha male, not a fucking beta male provider. So you always ask. I don't give a fuck if the bitch was looking out the window the whole fucking night. You always fucking ask. I don't care how low her interest is. You always fucking ask. But a woman is not going to come back to your crib if she sees you as a five or a six. Now, you can only, on these dates, you can only raise a woman's interest one. So if a woman sees you as a five, you can get it up to a six. If a woman sees you as a six, you can get it up to a seven, all right? But as a five, you can only get the number and you gotta raise it to get the date. As a six, you can get the date, but you gotta raise it to even get a kiss. Now y'all know I don't kiss, but I know a lot of you guys are still gonna kiss and do all this other bullshit or whatever the case may be. I don't kiss. But if a woman sees me as a six and I raise it to a seven, then I know I can get that booty hug. All right, guys, and this is when a woman will let you grab the booty. All right, when she, and guys, when I say grab the booty, I ain't talking about taking two fucking hands and lifting up in the air, grabbing a booty and juggling it like this right here. That's not what the fuck I said. When I talk about the booty grab, is I'm when I we go to hug, my hands like just a little bit below the waist, like on the top of her butt, like I'm. I don't I grab the bottom and squeeze and juggle it and not, no guys no 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 that's not what the booty it's like it's a little flirtation where I put my hands right here it's like she knows they somewhere they ain't supposed to be but it's not over the top it's like okay as long as he don't go no lower I'll let that go all right so that's when a woman sees you as a six she won't come back to your crib but she'll let you do that for all you guys that uh, still kiss and shit like this if she sees you as a six and you raise it over the date you can get the kiss all right that's the thing with that and if, if that's up to y'all guys i know some of you guys are still gonna go for the kiss i don't but i don't expect y'all guys to agree with everything i do everything i say all right now a seven you're gonna start seeing more stranger sh uh shit test guys all right but you like i said you can shut it down by being a fucking man and standing up for yourself. And uh, the main thing, guys, is this is where the masculine frame comes in at. When you acting strong and shit like that, it just don't... It, 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 when you acting masculine, it naturally puts a woman into her feminine state. And when y'all guys see a woman shit testing, it's almost like she's in between feminine and masculine energy. It's like, it's not, it's like she's not full masculine, but she's not full feminine either. It's like she's middle ways. Like she's not all the way. When you masculine like that, you keep her in a feminine state and you keep those shit tests at bay. All right, the masculine, the masculine frame is everything. I had just fucking with a chick yesterday and she was, what well, she said that morning and she is one of those talkative shit test type girls that always got some, you know, fly to say, but really ain't saying nothing. But I, I ignore her. When she asks these stupid questions like, why you drink that water like that? Or why you put that fork down? Guys, those are shit tests. When you when you around a girl and she asks stupid questions that really don't mean nothing, what the fuck does that mean? Why you drink that water like that? Or why you put that fork down right there? That is a shit test. How the hell are you supposed to answer some dumb shit like that? That's a shit test. I just ignore. When I get stupid shit tests like that, I just ignore the question. Like, I ain't even hear it. All right, guys? So... And then she turned around and then she said, uh, are you always quiet like this? I said, yeah, I don't talk that much. All right. Because what she want to do is she want to find a little, you know, fun boy and be running around and acting all goofy and corny all day with all these stupid sayings that don't really mean shit. And I'm laughing at her because I'm like, she don't know I'm a dating coach, but I wish she know I teach this shit. All right. She just acts a bunch of stupid. Why you got the TV up so loud? Uh, Cause bitch, I can't hear it. All right, she just asked a bunch of stupid questions, but I know how to deal with it. Ain't no big deal to me. What I'm trying to show you guys is how to deal with it when y'all run across women who ask these stupid ass questions. All right, guys. So as a seven, the shit tests are going to get more and more stringent because you're getting close to booty. All right. She's finding you as somebody she can sleep with. It's the last line of defense. All right. If you guys know anything about, you know, war and shit like this right here. Anytime you get close to the capital and shit like this, the fighting is fierce. That's what the, the capital is the woman's vagina, all right? The, the, the closer you get to that vagina, the closer you get to sleeping with her, the, the, the shit tests get fierce. You know, she got to find out if, what you made of, all right, guys? So if a woman goes, if you go on, a woman sees you as a seven 
You can raise it to an eight and she'll come back. If you do nothing to raise it, she won't come back. All right. Or if you even lower it. All right. Understand with all these things too, guys, you guys can lower it. All right. If a woman sees you as a five and you do something stupid, now you're a four and your ass out of there. If you see a woman sees you as a six and you do something stupid, now you're a five and now you're getting flaked on or now she's talking about we'll see. And this is where you guys get mixed up with these mixed signals. Mixed signals, guys, is a, a drop in interest, all right? When a woman sees you as one way and then you do something to lower her interest, she get confused a little bit. And that's where these mixed signals come in at because what happens is, well, why y'all guys seeing mixed signals is she was treating you one way and now she's treating you a, a, a different way. And when you was accustomed to her doing this. So what a mixed signal come in at is you don't understand she lost attraction. So it's mixed signals to you, but it's not mixed signals to me. All right. She lost attraction. She was, hey, come on back to my house. Yeah, come on. I'll come back to your house and this, that, and other. And now she, I don't know. My stomach hurts. This, that, and you look at it as a mixed signal. That's not a mixed signal. That's a loss of attraction. So you guys got to understand that a lot of this mixed signal stuff is a loss of attraction. Your woman, she was, she was treating you one way. And so this is the way you see her as treating you. I want her treatment. And then you do something. Maybe you didn't hold frame, whatever the case may be. Maybe you validated her too much, you know, staring at her or touching her too much. And she's starting to, you know, you know, if you catch feelings for a woman, you know, she lose interest. And so now her interest in you drop. And now you are confused. And now it looks like a mixed signal. It's not a mixed signal. She lost attraction. All right, guys. So please understand that with any of these interests, you can lower a woman's interest too. All right. You can raise it and you can lower it. All right. But on the date, on the seven, you won't. Hopefully you raise it and she'll come back to your crib. If you don't raise it, she won't. All right. It's just that simple, guys. And if you lower it, now you back into this thing where you might get flaked on this, that, and the other, guys. It's crazy how this interest level go up and down. All right, guys. All right. A num now, if you are eight... Oh, you definitely can fuck her. All right. You're going to have a very low flake rate. And if a woman sees you as an eight, the shit test are probably going to be strong during the date because she probably wants to sleep with you right now. So you, unless, un, unless you just shut it down from the get-go, guys, please understand with all these shit tests, you can shut it down from the get-go by just holding a masculine frame. And if you pass the first shit test to hold a masculine frame, you pretty much can kill it. All right. With all of them, all these interest levels, masculine frame, check her, you showed up late. Check her, get off your fucking phone. Of course, you don't say it like that. Just check her and shit like this. Let her know you ain't no pushover. A lot of times, guys, that's, that them shit tests go right out the window. All right? So if a woman sees you as an eight, you can fuck. All right? She will come back to your crib. All right? That's if, if, that's, that's if a woman sees you as an eight. All right? Nine, you can get your dick sucked, baby. All right? If a woman sees you as a nine... She come back to your crib. Not only can you fuck, but she can get you can get your dick sucked. All right. Now, when you start getting in these area, guys, you going you. This is when you start to see a woman starts to pursue you. When you start to get in that eight nine area, eight nine. This is when a woman starts to pursue you. This is when a woman reaches out to you. This is when a woman starts to text you every day. All right. This is when a woman started, am I going to see you next week? This is when a woman's interest at 8, 9. All right? That's when you're going to see that. 8, you can fuck. 9, you can get your dicks up. 10, you have graduated to sleeves ball heaven. You have that bitch's soul. This is when you get your ass licked. This is when you get swallowed. All right? Like they say, love sucks, but true love swallows. All right? So if, if you got a woman's soul for all you guys out there that don't like getting your ass licked or whatever the case may be, at the very least, make sure she swallow you, all right? That lets you know you have a soul. That's when a woman sees you as a 10, all right? And guys, this comes from, if it's, 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 it's highly unlikely that you can get a woman to see you as a 10 off of just physical. Uh, off of just physical, a woman can see you as an 8 or 9, 10, that's some seduction, baby. You got her head. It's hard to get a woman's head like that with just your physical. I'm not saying it's not possible, but a woman, your physical, only, in my opinion, can only get a woman up to like an eight. What you say out your mouthpiece is what takes it to that nine or ten. All right, seduction, masculine frame. All right, guys? So that's the thing with that. And if any of you guys see a drop in this, 
Alright, if you had a woman that was swallowing you, now all of a sudden she got to go spit out. You need to look at these. Alright, I, I, I want y'all guys, when you look at, when you watch this video, I want y'all guys not to just think about what to do to raise it. I want y'all to watch when a woman is losing interest, how the regression goes. Alright, if a woman sees you as a 10, and all of a sudden she was swallowing you, now all of a sudden she got to go spit out. You need to go look at that. You know, she's losing attraction. Alright, guys. If a woman sees you as an, oh, she was sucking your dick, now all of a sudden it's like you got to pull teeth to get her to suck your dick. She's losing attraction, guys. If a woman sees you as an eight, and all she wanted to do was just fuck all the time, just that nine, she talking about my period on, my stomach hurts sometimes, and you know, uh, is that all? Is that's all you want from me? All right, she's losing attraction, guys. All right, if a, a seven. If a woman was always coming back to your crib, just that, and now all of a sudden, uh, I got to get up and go to work early in the morning. All right, she's losing attraction. This is not mixed signals, guys. This is a loss of attraction. All right, so y'all guys see what you need to do to raise it, and you see what you need to look out for when it's lowering. All right, guys, but remember, no sex happens to a woman that at least sees you as an eight. All right, that means that you got to be at least a seven on the date for her to raise it. Alright, and when you are seven to a woman, you ain't gonna see a whole lot of we'll see and I'll let you know she's gonna make a date and she wanna fucking see you. Alright, and she's gonna show up on a date, you're gonna see a couple fucking shit tests, you shut it down, and she'll come back to your crib. If a woman ever comes back to your crib, it's up to you to bring it home, guys. It's up to you. Now, if a woman come back to your crib or whatever the case may be, and Sometimes you just be tired and you don't feel like going through that whole dog and pony show Two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, one step back Listen, I get it, alright, sometimes I don't feel like doing that shit either And sometimes I'll just try to wait for the next time But just please understand that guys, a lot of times when these women come back to your crib And you don't seal the deal, a lot of times you might not never even see that woman again Alright, these women are all over the fucking place, alright Always try to seal the deal every time you can Please don't fucking rape nobody that just means that you really need to master the art of two steps forward, one step back. All right? Two steps forward, one step back. Let, take your time. Let the woman get comfortable. You really need to seal this deal because you never know when Joe Blow might come in next week, send her an email, send her a text message, and all of a sudden she don't even remember your ass. All right? You never know, so you always want to seal it. Never take nothing with women for granted. All right? They all over the fucking place. Today they love you. Next week they don't even remember your name. All right? Simple as that, guys. All right, guys. Like the video. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Holler back.